Navigation Drawer. How to create a sidebar navigation drawer with routing in Flutter. Inside the scaffold we have the drawer property where we can add a navigation drawer. With this, if we tap on this menu icon, we have an empty navigation drawer. Inside the drawer we add a scrollable column. And now we create the header and menu items inside of two separate methods. For the menu items we create a column and a list tile for the menu item. With this the menu item is displayed behind the status bar. To change it we also want to add some spacing to the top. Next to the single menu item we also want to add some more menu items. Also you could add a divider to include different sections. Next we replace the column by a wrap widget to also include some vertical spacing. Optionally wrap a container around to add some spacing around all menu items. And finally if we click on a menu item then we want to navigate to a new page. Simply call the navigator push replace method and we navigate to the home page. As a result we can click on the menu item and we navigate to the home page. Alternatively to the push replacement method you can also call the push method and we navigate to the favorites page. This is another page that I have created. With this if we click on the favorites menu item we go to the favorites page and you have this back button then we go back to the navigation drawer. Simply call before the navigator pop method to have the navigation drawer closed. With this let's go to the favorites page. If we navigate back then we go back to the home page and the navigation drawer is closed. On the favorites page you can replace the back button by the menu item. With this we can open from the favorites page directly the navigation drawer. And finally we create the header on top of the menu items. Therefore let's add first of all a background color. Next we create a column and inside of it we place all of the widgets inside. With this we have an image and two texts below. Also include some more padding to the header for the final design. To include some interaction to the header wrap the inkwell widget around. Also set the header background color to the material widget and remove it from the container. And lastly if we tap on the header then we navigate to a user page. This is a new page I have created. As a result we can tap on the header, we go to the user page and we can also navigate back to the previous page. Search app bar. How to create a search bar in Flutter. Let's start with a search icon within the app bar. If we press on the search icon then we call a method show search. Whereas we can implement inside of a new class our search behavior. And we need to override here four methods. With this we can already click on the search icon and then we have the search bar within our app bar. Next you can define the leading icon within the search bar and also the clear action icon within the search bar. If we click on the leading icon then we want to close the search. With this if I click on this arrow back button then we go back to our previous screen. And secondly if we click on the clear action button then we want to remove the input of our search bar. With this if we click on this clear button then the input of the search bar is cleared. In case the search bar is already empty then we also want to close our search. As a result since the search input is empty and we click on the clear button we close the search. Next under the search bar we want to build the suggestions. Therefore we create a list of suggestions that we display inside of a list view builder. And each suggestions we want to build as a list tile. With this we have a list of suggestions displayed under the search bar. If we click on one suggestion then we want to put the suggestion into our search input. With this if I click on a suggestion then you see the search input is changing. After this we call also the message show results and with this we don't display anymore the suggestions instead we display the results. And in our case we simply display then the query our search input. With this if we click on a suggestion then we display the result page. And lastly if we type anything into the search bar then we want to update our suggestions. Therefore we create within our class a search results list and inside the suggestions we map over our search results. And for each of the search results we check then basically if our result contains the search input. With this we only display the suggestions that match with the search input. Let's also try it out. I type here something different and you see always the suggestions are updated. Sliver app bar. How to hide the app bar and show the app bar on scrolling in Flutter. 
Let's start with an app bar that is persistently displayed at the top. Simply wrap this app bar inside of a nested scroll view. Also replace the app bar by a sliver app bar. With this, if we scroll down, the app bar disappears and if we reach the top, then the app bar appears again. Next, you can replace the title by a flexible space bar. With this, the app bar is expanded by 240 pixels and if we scroll up, then the title position is also animated. Optionally, you can set a background image for the flexible space of your app bar. And finally, by default, you have to always scroll all the way up to display again the app bar. Simply set the floating property to true in your app bar. With this, as soon as you scroll up towards the app bar, the app bar shows up again. Also, you can scroll every single pixel of your app bar. If you want to change it, simply set the snap flag to true. As a result, if we scroll up, then the entire app bar will slide completely out of view. And if we scroll down, then the entire app bar will slide into view at once. Lastly, set the pin flag to true so that if you scroll up, then the flexible space disappears and the app bar stays pinned. And if you scroll again down, then both of them appear again. Tab bar. How to create a tab bar in Flutter. Firstly, you need to wrap around the scaffold widget, a default tab controller widget, and supply the length of how many tabs you like to have. Secondly, you go to the app bar and here inside you define then these three tabs that you have defined on top before. And lastly, within the scaffold body property, you can then create for each of the tabs a page. In our case, we have three tabs, therefore also three pages. With this, we have three tabs at the top and also the pages below for each tab that we have defined within the tab bar view. If you like, you can also add an icon to each of your tabs. And with this, our tab has each time an icon. Pop-up menu button. How to create a pop-up menu in Flutter. Inside the app bar, add a pop-up menu button. Also define a list of pop-up menu items. With this, we have in the app bar this pop-up menu with our four items. Next, we add to each of the items a value, which comes from an enum class. With this, we can listen to on which item we have tapped and we get the value of this item. And then based on this value, you can perform some actions, such as navigating to a new item page. As a result, if we tap on the first item, we navigate to a new page, the item page that I have created in a separate file. Will pop scope. How to handle the back button press in Flutter. Simply wrap around your scaffold widget a will pop scope. Whereas this function is always called if you click on the back button. If we return in this function false and then we click on the back button, it is not working and we stay on the same page. However, in the case you return true, and now you click on this back button, it will go back to the previous screen. Finally, you can return true or false depending on some conditions. In our case, we show a dialog, and this dialog then returns this boolean flag, and therefore we create two action buttons, and with the navigator pop method, we can return a false or true flag, depending on if we want to stay on the page or if we want to pop the page. With this, if we click on the spec button, a dialog will pop up and we can click on the cancel button, then it returns false and stays on the same page. And if we click on the yes button, then it goes back to the previous screen because we return true instead. App bar. How to create an app bar in Flutter. Inside the scaffold, add an app bar widget and within this app bar, you can create a title. Next, you can change the background color of the app bar. On the left side of the title, you can place an icon. Also wrap it inside of an icon button. With this, you can also tap on this icon. And finally, with the actions property, you can create a list of icons that is displayed on the right side. Optionally, you can extend the app bar by defining the bottom property. And then you can place any widget within this bottom space. Transparent app bar. Let's look at how we can create a transparent app bar. Therefore, we have here a normal app bar that we want to make transparent. And we also want to integrate within our body property, a background image. And secondly, we want to make our app bar transparent. Before this, we also include here some leading button and action button so that it looks better. And secondly, we want to supply here then the background color and set it to transparent. 
And with this, our app bar becomes then transparent. However, our app bar also have some shadow and this is also what you need to disable. Therefore, I set the elevation to zero and then all the shadow is removed from our app bar. And the last problem is that our image is not going behind our app bar. And therefore, you also have here within your scaffold the property extend body behind app bar. And we see that we have now a transparent app bar. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.